I'm going to do a short little spoiler free review of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This was the Hot Mess Book Club Book of the Month for November and we just barely did the live show for this book so if you missed that I will leave the link in the description if you want to see all of our spoilery thoughts on the book. But today I figured I would just sit down and gush about this with no spoilers. This book follows our main character 17 year old Simon Spear and he is a junior in high school and a closeted gay man. For a while he has been corresponding through emails with a boy named Blue. He doesn't know who he is. All he knows is that he goes to the same school as him and one day he leaves one of the emails up on a school's computer and it gets into the hands of a boy named Martin and Martin more or less blackmails Simon to help him win over Simon's friend Abby or he will share these emails with the school. So it follows that storyline as well as Simon trying to figure out who he is as well as trying to figure out who Blue is. I thought that this book was absolutely astounding. I gave it five out of five stars on Goodreads. This was the first book that I had read by Becky Albertalli and honestly I was a little miffed that I didn't have another one of her books to pick up right away. I loved the way that this was written. All the characters felt very authentic and fleshed out and none of them felt as if they were blending into one another, which is one of my biggest issues with reading YA. This book is jam-packed with diversity. There are multiple people of color in this book. There is obviously LGBT representation. There are main characters with all different body types. I thought this book was absolutely phenomenal and all of the representation in it was great. And I'm pretty sure Becky Albertalli is just known for having really diverse reads that don't feel like they're like forcefully diverse, which I really like. Like all these characters felt very authentic. I did have little issues with this as far as like I felt the book was too short or I felt that certain things weren't handled the way they should have been handled, but the, these issues weren't big enough for me to dock it anything under a five star rating. I fell in love with all of these characters and I think that this book handled hard hitting topics but with a light hand so it didn't feel like it was sitting super heavy. It was just a really sweet contemporary and it features a really sweet male-male romance and interracial relationships. This does take place in like a small town in Georgia. So, you know, people aren't always going to be very progressive there. So you did get to deal with that. So I don't know if I would put like a trigger warning on this book, but I would just let you know that if that's something that you're sensitive to seeing, like seeing people not okay with LGBT people, that is a theme in this book. I think that this book tackled the distinction between gender and sexual orientation really well. We discussed that in the live show we talk about how being gay doesn't automatically make you more feminine than men. It doesn't mean that you're not a man if you're gay and it tackles just a lot of really great subjects. I think it was paced really well. I just wish that it was a little bit longer so that way we could get a little bit more development with these characters, especially with some of the conflicts that go on between Simon and Leah and things like that. I think that Simon's family was absolutely wonderful. So seldom you read a YA book where the family unit is so together. I don't know, it was just it just all worked very well and I think that there were subjects within the family that were tackled in a beautiful way. Also, this is the first time I've read a YA book where the main character has a dog and actually like takes care of the dog throughout the whole book. That's like a small thing but it's such an annoying thing when you're reading a YA book or you're reading any book and at the beginning the main character has a dog and like talks about their dog and then by the end of the book the dog's just gone and it's like where's the dog at and I just thought it was really cool how that was something that was sprinkled throughout the story this book was funny when it needed to be it was hard-hitting and it was serious when it needed to be it was sweet it was wonderful it was it was absolutely phenomenal and I can't believe I never read a Becky Albertalli book until now I am very excited for the movie even though I am a little bit miffed about who's cast as Leah just gonna throw this out there if you're attacking Becky Albertalli for the casting of the Love Simon movie suck my ass like she has no control over that at all I just 
Ugh. That's about all I can say about it without going into super in-depth spoilers. If you want to see my spoilery thoughts as well as the spoilery thoughts of everyone else in the Hot Mess Book Club, I'll definitely link the live stream link in the description because Rhiannon left that up on her channel. And it was a super fun time. Thank you so much to everyone who came and joined us for the Hot Mess Book Club live show for Simon. Yeah, that is all my spoiler-free, gushy thoughts on Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Definitely let me know in the comments what you thought of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, if you've read it. If you've read anything else by Becky Albertalli, please let me know because I want to know how those books are as well. Let me know if you're excited for the Love, Simon movie because I can't wait to keep gushing about it until it comes out. <laughs> if you want to see more of my content, you can always subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes I upload Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'm sorry about it. But like I said, my name is Morgan. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and happy reading. Okay, bye!